This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and welcome to pack 16 of the Tiny Car Collection, the 143rd select collection of cars from the Fast and Furious franchise. Uh, in this uh, pack we have four more vehicles we have got the uh what have we got the honda civic the uh dodge challenger another one another dodge uh the nissan gt oh i think we had one of them before as well uh and the buick grand national uh that one sounds like a new one i don't think we've had one of them before uh so uh, we've got the cars down here we'll have a flick through the magazine first as ever and then we'll go and look at each car in turn so uh the first one I think it's the first one. Uh, 56, yes, the 56th car in this pack is indeed the uh, Honda uh, Civic Coupe EJ1 from 1993. Uh, so, looking through the magazine first, we'll see what the car is all about. Looking at the uh, things from the film series as well. So, there we go, that's the car. I'm not entirely certain what coupe means. I think I thought you used to think it meant convertible, that sort of thing, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But I don't know exactly what it does mean. Um, but there we go, that's what it is. That's how it looks. Uh, looking at the crisis of 2008, Honda didn't do well, apparently. I don't know. I don't really remember there being a particular car crisis, but apparently there was. Uh, so that's that. Uh, let's clear this out of the way and we'll have a look at the car itself. Right, so the Honda Civic Coupe. Uh, yeah, it's it's a car. What more can you really say about it? It's got some lines painted down it. Not particularly special. And drive. Got uh, Those lines don't look... They look worn. I don't know if that's a... No, they don't look worn. They look like they're deliberately painted like that. Some sort of sea and beach motif. But, uh, yeah, it's obviously exactly the same as what's featured in the film, as all of these are. I don't know that I would recognise it. It was nice to be able to see the interior on there, quite well lit by the big windows and the sunroof. The sort of car you'd quite happily see if you didn't have the paintwork and the spoiler on it you'd see it anywhere but, uh that is that the coupe so the second one is the dodge challenger uh the srt demon from 2018. Uh, yeah i again not sure what makes it the challenger but uh, well, i know what makes it the challenger or what makes it a demon um after looking at uh, Little Nobody, oh yeah, that was uh, Mr. Nobody's uh, sidekick type person. There we go. So, uh, the Challenger SRT Demon. I'm not sure in black, but it would look more demonic. <laughs> Although red's not, not a bad choice. Um, it looks sleek and it looks powerful uh, from that angle, obviously, as well. Big engine, big front end. Yeah, it's all right. I like the look of that. Feel free to pause and go back, read all the words if you like. Uh, uh, the recovery, Dodge Brand's recovery. Uh, again, I, I'm not a big car person, so I don't remember all of these uh, problems that they had and things like that. So it'll fall in there if you care to read about it. Obviously, American police seem to use them as well. Uh, right, that's that. Let's uh, have a look at the car itself. So, the SRT Demon version of the Dodge Challenger. I don't know that I like the silver sides. Not sure. Normally when they do a, a separate colour body panel, it's just like one panel, rather than this having the, the entire majority of it being in black. But, effective silver sides. I, I don't particularly like the colour choice on that. 
Um, and I don't know what to tell you about how and why it's the, a demon. Sort of not the normal dodge front end either. But yeah, it, it's quite nice. Again, apart from the paint job, I wouldn't recognise it driving down the street. It's quite a nice looking car. It's not quite as uh, front endy as it looked in the pictures. But it's quite nice. So yeah, that's all, all perfectly acceptable. And third up, we have the Nissan GTR again, uh, the R35. R35, yes, I think we've done the R35 as well. All of these names and numbers all blur together. I'm not entirely certain. Uh, Owen Shaw, yeah, I remember him being in a couple of the films. I'm going to have to go back and watch some of these films again, especially the last few. The first ones I've seen several times over. But the uh, the last few, well, by the last one, certainly I've only seen it once. Yeah, just looking at that, it's it's a car. It's a nice looking car, but I can't pick it out from the lineup. I wouldn't be able to pick it out from these four that I've got sitting in front of me now either. So, yeah. Uh, stronger after the crisis, Nissan. Nissan had a crisis as well, apparently. Did everyone have a crisis in 2008? I don't know. I, I used to have a Nissan. Not one of these, but yeah. There we go. That's that. Um, let's uh, have a look at the car itself. So, another Nissan uh, GTR. This is apparently the, the Ben Sopra. I don't know what that means. That the name of the driver. I have no idea. There we go. That's what that one looks like. Uh, yeah, I don't mind the colouring on that. The blue, the blue is quite nice, and the black highlights it not nicely on the on the roof there, rather than the other one that was a bit too too much. Uh, saying that, it's got a huge spoiler on the back there. I don't particularly like that. But there we go. That is that one. Again, you can see all of the details of it. Nicely made, nicely modelled. And it does have an interior, but you can't see very much of it through the windows. But it is quite nice. And quite a nice colour. Pleasant. Uh, so that's that. Let's have a look at the last one. And the last one in today's delivery is the Buick, uh, the Grand National. Now that sounds like a race i don't know but we'll get to the car in a minute uh leo and santos um yeah oh that was yeah i remember them now vaguely yeah checking out the uh what are they ones that did the rocket car thing might mine might be thinking about someone completely different uh the buick grand national yeah it's got a Fairly distinctive rear end, but yeah, it doesn't do anything for me really. It's all right, but it's not anything special. So I've got all the stats there if you're that sort of stats person. Um, long history of Buick, that's an older one. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm familiar with that sort of styling. It's more sort of Rolls Royce Bentley type styling. There we go, that's that. Uh, so let's clear this out of the way and let's have a look at the final car in this pack. And the last one is a Buick. Uh, this is, yeah, Grand National. Uh, I don't know. It's sort of a an older classic American car. You can see definitely that the shaping at the back there. The huge boot. Trunk, sorry. It's American. It's got to be a trunk. So, uh, yeah. I don't even know if it's got any back seats in there at all to speak of might be something but not very much not designed for passengers could have made the back a little bit bigger and had proper back seats and not so much trunk space but it is what it is if that's what you need in a car then that's what you get yeah that's quite nice it's yeah i i would notice that on the road i think of all of these i think this is the one that's a little bit more distinctive and a little bit more unusual Especially with the uh, exhaust coming out the side rather than the rear. 
But there we go. That is the last one in today's batch and today's delivery. Uh, next time we'll be getting four more tiny cars and we'll have a look at those in about a month. So for now, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the look at these. Uh, if you are collecting them yourself, let me know in the comments. See what you think. I'll see you soon for more. Bye for now. Thank you.